Hey, it's Tyler from Plugged On. I'm here with an album review. This time we're going to be talking about the new album from the band Light the Torch, entitled Revival. So, this is their third album. This is the follow up to 2015's They Bleed Red. And when they were devil, you know. <laughs> um, this band, they, they had a lot of complications with their drummer and everything, and they were kind of forced to change their band name uh unfortunately but hey it's for the better at least they're still kicking they're still putting out kick-ass music and i will say when they released the track die alone the first single which is the first song on here i was instantly stoked for this album and you know this band is known for having howard jones of kill switch engage fame on vocals and then also uh francesco artisado uh who was in all shall perish um and, and is a fantastic guitar player. So it, you, you have a lot going on here uh, for sure. So they're back. We have new music from these guys. And how is it? Um, I think for the most part this album is is really fun to listen to. And it is really good. And the thing that I think will instantly stand out. And I think one is a positive, and, and another one you could view as a negative. One, this album fucking just jams, dude. It has non-stop energy right up until the last track, which has uh, some slower sections, and I think that's cool. You know, there's some really chunky parts, there's some groovy-ass riffs, uh, really upbeat choruses, really great vocals from Howard Jones to add to that energy. I think that's one of the strongest things about this album is that it just goes the whole time. It just fucking jams it's great um the on the flip side of that you you have a few things you have one i feel like in i'm not saying there's not any good ones here but i feel like the riffs just don't pop as much as they did on their first two records like there aren't as uh, as many just stand out just really awesome riffs you know that you just want to fucking really air guitar to or anything like that there it's more straightforward stuff and i'm fine with that because i do think it works most of the time it's just you know i take you know a track like um the the way we die or or uh seven years alone or um what's the one consume the damned is a great example of like you know that sort of stuff i think is really cool but there are some good ones like i, I do it's a, it's it's simple but it's fucking heavy the opening to die alone is fantastic um you know raise the dead has some pretty good stuff and uh the the bitter end lost in the fire have some some quality riffs too it's just i feel like there's just a little bit less on that and and because this jam, this record just jams the whole time you could I don't think it's that bad, but some of these songs do run together a little bit in that you have, you know, some simplistic guitar riff, uh, some great vocals by Howard Jones, but maybe the chorus sounds a little bit similar. I think the two that go kind of back to back to me are the Safety of Disbelief and Virus, are, I think are uh, a little bit similar there, and, and sometimes that can happen. Um, but otherwise I do think it is good because if you, if you do listen to these songs a lot of times individually, they're fucking killer. They really are. Um, you know, like I said, Die Alone's great. I think the first four tracks of this album are fucking amazing to me. Honestly, I, I Calm Before the Storm is, is one of the better, just really upbeat, good feeling songs on this album that I love. Um, especially after the second chorus, just great. It's one of the best performances from Howard Jones, honestly. And, uh, you know, I love the crushing nature of the sound of violence or Lost in the Fire. I think those two songs live could just go over super well. Um, I think the final track, Judas, Judas Convention, is one of the stronger ones, too. I love the way that it starts and how it ends, especially how it ends. The album, I think, is a really nice touch. Um, and The Great Divide is another one that I think is one of the better performances from Howard Jones. And that brings me to another thing that I like about this album is that... Uh, Howard Jones has always been great. Don't get me wrong. I thought he was great in Kill Switch Engage. He's been great on the first two, on the two Devil You Know albums. But I feel he really carries this album in a fantastic way. And this is one of his strongest vocal performances. Fucking period. His his uh, more aggressive vocals sound fantastic. 
and his clean vocals especially are just killer. I think Calm Before the Storm is one that's really good. Raise the Dead, The Great Divide, like I said. Uh, the Sound of Violence on the more aggressive side, he sounds fantastic. He is on point for this album. And and, uh, and then the only th- other thing that I'll say is, to kind of go along with the riffs, is there's not a ton of solos on here. And I know, just because Francesca is a really fucking great guitar player, I would have liked to hear a little bit more there. But hey, if it doesn't fit in a song, that's totally totally cool. No need to force anything there. Um, the ones that are there. Cool, though. Uh, so that's that's just my my thoughts on the album. I do thoroughly enjoy listening to it. To be honest with you, it's just a few nitpicky things. Honestly, you could point out and say they're honestly just nitpicky. Like, oh, there's not as many cool rips as before. They're more simple. Like, yeah, who cares? There, it's it's fun to listen to for sure. It's one of the the more fun metalcore albums I've heard in in a little while. Just you'll be jamming windows down. It's getting nice out now, and. Uh, just crank this one up it's cool these songs are really just hit you and move on they're none none of them really overstay their welcome they're all about three minutes long roughly to be honest with you um so yeah i'm just glad that this band was able to continue and that they weren't caught in some uh you know, I know they had to change their name and everything, and that does suck, but at least they are able to continue, and it's not some long, drawn-out thing um, where it would be years and years and years, maybe, until we get new music from these guys. So now that they can get that behind them, just put out records, tour, fuck yeah. Bring it on, dude. I, I love I love Howard Jones' voice. I think he's one of the best voices in heavy metal, um, and I just like the vibes of this band. So bring it on. That's my thoughts on Revival by Light to Torch. You could say that it definitely is a revival. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. It is cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, I know <laughs> we haven't put up too much recently over the past few weeks, and it's been a whirlwind, to be honest with you. Uh, life has really gotten in the way, but I think things are getting a little bit more back on track, hopefully. We can get some stuff up. I know there's a lot of reviews that I want to do of albums that came out today on March 30th. Hopefully I can get around to a few more of them. And I also might do a kind of review roundup, sort of, for the first quarter of the year. Because there are albums that I just did not get to uh, review. There's some albums that I really enjoyed that I just didn't feel like giving a full review. Um, So I might do that and talk about a, a bunch of albums. Uh, in that so look for that hopefully here soon so thanks for watching see you later